Hey guys, it's John and welcome. welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone. And I haven't gotten a new phone since my last what's on my iPhone video. It's still the iPhone 7. But it's been a year since that video, so I thought I'd do an updated one for the new year, for 2020. Uh, and because a lot's changed since then, so I thought I'd do an updated one. So I don't really have a lot to say because it's pretty self-explanatory what this video is. So let's just get on to the video. So like I said, I still have my iPhone 7, but I got a new case. It's just a clear case from 5 Below, and I have some stickers on it, because why not? These two stickers in the corners are um, from my sticker collection of just random stickers that I had. It's a camera and some sunglasses, and then next to it I have this taco uh, pop-up one that my sister gave me of a taco, which I love. Um, and then I just have my permit inside of the case. Um, and then my lock screen is just a pic- oh. It is just a picture of my bunny that I thought was really cute, so I put him as my lock screen because I just love it. Yeah, this is what you see when you open my phone. Uh, so it should be showing up right here. So this is the home screen where all the apps that come with your phone are. Uh, I have just messages, calendar, which I don't really use a lot lately. Well, I do sometimes. I like to put in events or something. Makes me look busy. <laughs> but obviously this month I'm not very busy. Uh, so then I have photos, which I don't have a lot of photos because I use Google Photos, which we'll get to later. Um, I just have some screenshots and stuff that I have to post and things like that. On my photos, then camera. Here, I'll show you the setup I got going on. Very professional. <laughs> um, then I have maps, clock. What do I have on clock? I don't use anything really except my alarm and like a timer. Uh, then I have weather, news, notes. I just have a lot of random stuff, uh, random lists, um, school stuff, things for YouTube and Bookstagram and things like that. Uh, measure, I don't really use. Um, and then I have a folder. This has just two random apps, um, calculator and FaceTime, which I don't really use. Yeah, I don't really use these apps that often. I don't FaceTime a lot of people. Um, and then I have voice memos, which I also don't really use. The last time I used it, I think, was like last year when I was interviewing my aunt for a school project. Uh, and then I have reminders, which I don't really use that much. I mean, I actually use it a lot, like, for random stuff, but not a lot lately. Uh, I just have YouTube, school, life, and random for, like, my four lists. Uh, and then I have contacts, app store, settings, health, wallet, and find my iPhone, which are all self-explanatory. Um, at the bottom, I just have phone, Gmail, uh, Safari, and Spotify, which I don't share my Spotify account. But here's the music I listen to if you were curious. I have Glee Music, uh, Favorites, which is a lot of just like Sabrina Carpenter, Imagine Dragons, um, a lot of just random ones. I don't have a a particular artist I love, but I don't know, I like a lot. This is a uh, playlist I use to listen to music when I'm reading. It's called Your Favorite Coffee House. It's by Spotify. And it has a lot of good music, and I love it so much. So, if you ever want a good music playlist for when you're reading, I would suggest that. And then you swipe, and this is my, like, the main one that I'm usually on the most. Um... So, my background, first of all, is me and my sister, and it f covers the whole page without covering our faces, which is nice. I like that. Um, so, I have six folders. Uh, for the first one, I just have Watch, and it has Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, the Target app, iMovie, and Blackjack. So, it's all kind of like entertainment type stuff. Um, and then I just have Gag, which is... <laughs> A bunch of, or, well, okay, it's not a bunch. It's two apps that I don't like, don't use. Yeah. Uh, and then I have social. Uh, this just has all my social media. So I have Snapchat, which I don't give out my Snapchat, but. Yeah, this is my Snapchat. Wow. <laughs> um, and then I have Pinterest, which I've been really loving my Pinterest lately. Like, honestly, here, I'm going to save this real quick 
Um, I just have, here's my Pinterest, if you were curious. Um, my boards, I just have life, animals, photography, and home sweet home, and I have sections in them. And so in life, I just have tattoos, school, and clothes, um, animals, just a bunch of animals. <laughs> uh, and then photography, I have like aesthetics, coffee, books, stuff like that. And then home sweet home is homey stuff for like when I have a home or a dorm in the future. So yeah, I really like my Pinterest, so go follow it. All my links for my social media that I give out are all in the description. And then I have Instagram, which this is my Instagram, my public one, my bookstagram. And it's called Love a Latte Books. I thought that was very fitting because I like coffee and I like books, so yeah, I just posted this one yesterday of my bunny. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you one of my favorite bookstagrammers. Um, Rustic Pages. I love her. She's She has really good photos and she's really nice. So, if you're looking for any bookstagrammers to follow, you um, all the ones I follow I love. So, uh, Then I have TikTok, <laughs> which it's not in the description. But you can follow me. It's Jenna.May13. Um, yeah, I don't really go on it, like, that much. Like, I'm not, like, becoming a TikToker. But every now and then I'll make a TikTok. <laughs> uh, and then I have books, which is school and book stuff. So I have my Goodreads, which I am, is Jenna May, like my YouTube. So here, I'll, let's see. I'm reading War Across right now and Chinese Cinderella for school. And I've read 14 books so far. Um, and then I have Libby, which paired with my library, and then I can get like ebooks or audiobooks, which I'm gonna be doing um, soon for the readathon because I have two audiobooks I want to read or listen to. Um, student, that's my in, uh, grade book for to check my grades. Google Classroom for school. <laughs> Uh, and then I have Road Ready, which is the driving app. Let's see how many hours I have. 46 hours and 51 minutes. I need just a few more hours, but we'll see how long it takes me to get those few hours because of the coronavirus. <laughs> um, and then I have Editing, which is all of the apps that I use that photo-wise. So, um, I have UNUM. I just got this, so I don't really use it that much, but... Um, it just kind of organizes photos, I guess. Then I have Visco, which I don't know if it's in my description box, but it's Jenna May 13, and here it is. Um, and then I have Fonto, which is how I edit my thumbnails. Uh, I'll show you the last one I did. Nope, that's not the last one I did. Um. This was the one for my self-care day in my life, but I didn't end up using that picture. I don't know. This was, like, when I was trying to see how I wanted my thing to go. But anyways, yeah, you get the idea. So then I have photo print, which is how I print photos. Pixar, which is how I make collages or add stickers to things or some stuff like that. And then Google Photos, that's where I store all my photos because, um it backs it up for you so this is on my computer on my phone if I get a new phone it'll be on that and I won't have to worry about it um, things like that and I just have all my photos there and it's a lot easier um, especially when you get a new phone or something or if you're on your computer looking for a photo and then I have just extra and this is more my important stuff that I don't really use on a daily basis but still need on my phone so I have the follow up which is how I see my sister's blood sugar, uh, LMCU, the, my bank account, SmartCast, which is my remote for the TV because we lost our physical one, PC, which is for that time of the month, and Invisaware, which is this cool little keychain thing, and then if I tap it, it, like, gives it, or if I click it, it'll alert police, my mom, my original contacts, that I'm in trouble. So that's pretty good for when I'm going to be starting to drive. 
So anyways, yeah, that's everything on my phone. Um, if you guys want any app recommendations, anything, uh, anything about how I edit, uh, let me know. I can make a whole separate video on how I edit Instagram photos, thumbnails, um, how I edit videos on my phone, stuff like that. So that's everything on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to also subscribe because I'm going to try to make a lot more videos. I'm going to try to be uh, more frequent with my uploading since we're all at home bored. And I'm sure you'd like more videos to watch on YouTube. So yeah, I'm going to try to do that. And make sure to hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. Okay. Bye!